In this video, I'm going to talk about dividing polynomials. Sometimes you have to solve problems like this. Yuck. We're going to have to use long division to solve this. And the first thing I'm going to do is organize the uh, stuff a little bit different. Move that around there. And that looks more like a long division. The first step is what times x is equal to 2x cubed? In this case, 2x squared. We're going to take that 2x squared times x, and we're going to put it right there, and we're going to subtract it. So we have 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, which is, of course, 0. Now we're going to take 2x squared times negative 4, and we're going to put it right there, and that equals negative 8 x squared. Let me put parentheses around that, and that's negative 2x cubed minus 8x squared, which is equal to negative 2x cubed plus 8x squared. Negative 5x squared plus 8x squared is 3x squared. Now I'm going to take that negative 5x and I'm going to drop it down. Now I want to know what times x is equal to 3x squared, and in this case it is come on, plus 3x, so we take 3x times x, and we're going to put it right there, so we have 3x squared again. And of course, 3x squared minus 3x squared is equal to 0. Now, we take 3x times negative 4 and put it right there, which is negative 12x. Again, we factor in the negative sign, which makes this 3x squared plus 12x. And negative 5x plus 12x is equal to 7x. Now we take that negative 22, and we're going to slide it right down. Right, come on, come on, come on. There it is. What is times x is equal to 7x, which is that right there. And of course, that is 7. So 7 times x is 7x, and we're going to put it right there. And 7x minus 7x is 0. Now we take 7 times negative 4, and we're going to put it right there, and that would be negative 28. Last time I checked, that's correct. Let me factor that in and nudge over that little negative sign. Just nudge it right there. There we go. So now we have negative 22 plus 28, which is 6. And this 6 is a remainder. And we're going to put it right up at the top. Just going to take that 6 and put it at the top. Come on, go, go. Nudge it up there and put him around. Then that's 6 divided by, that's right, x minus 4. We're going to put it right over there. And there we go. That's the answer. Now, the answer's up there. You can see it. And you'll probably have to watch this video a couple times because this is really a, a hard material. So that's one of the values of videos. You can watch it as many times as you like. Good luck, and I will see you next time.